Okay, let's go. So we'll start with the salute. So the salute, I first show it to you. So we open the hands, looking back, and open, looking on the front, and right fist, left palm. We make a nice circle, and then come back to the chest, turn the hands down, and push. So I'll show you. So it's the right fist. For the fist, you open the hand, then you close the fingers, Okay, and the thumb above the two first fingers. So like this. I'll show you for the color. Okay, normal fist. And the palm goes like this. Just in the center. It is like the, the fist means that I'm ready to fight. And the palm means no, I don't want to fight, I want peace. Okay. So we uh, we do I show you from the side. Okay, so Open, looking slightly back, uh, hands facing to the front, right fist, left palm, nice uh, circle, and then come in, turn, and salute. Okay? Okay, so, and then uh, for when we speak, I say, Tong Shuman Hao. It means uh, students, hello, hello students. And your salute to me is Lao Shi Hao. So it's like a hello teacher. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Tong Shi Men Hao. And you say Lao Shi Hao. This is the first first step in Tai Chi. <laughs> okay, so now we'll do a little warm up. We won't do it too long because it's the first class. I want to take more time to explain you some. Okay, so we open shoulder width. So shoulder width is the inside of the, the shoulders uh, um, to the inside of the feet. So here you see it's more or less the outside of my shoulder to the outside of my feet. So that's not good. It's not stable. So you open a little bit more to have more sterility. Okay, so the inside here to the inside. Okay. Okay, so let's go with the head. So relax the arms. We just turn left with the chin slightly in. Turn, look. The other side. Again, left and right. Then in the center, look up, put the chin up. Chin down, again up, and down, center, and then again left, right, left, right, and the center, and up. And down, up, and down. Okay, relax. And left hand on the top of the head, touching the top of the ear. Okay, the top of the ear. And then you pull, you pull the ear to the shoulder, ear to the shoulder. And here you pull your shoulder the opposite way to extend, to extend the neck. And relax. Always gentle moves. Okay, to the ear and then pull. And come back. Relax. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the shoulders. And we're going to do circles with the elbows. 
So relax your, your knees, I'll show you from the side, to the down and to the back, to the side, big circles, up, high and down. Here you can relax your knees, just go with the flow, up and down. Up and down. Do the opposite side. Raise and down. If your if your shoulders hurt, you do smaller circles. Two, three. and relax okay I'm going to relax the top hello <laughs> open we're going to bend the knees okay a few times while you, you turn your waist up like this if you have your head that uh, uh, if you get dizzy easily you keep your eyes on the to the camera you don't turn your head if you don't get easy, you just turn at the same time you turn your wings. Relax, it's like uh, arms completely relax, shoulders. Okay, relax. Good. Now the hips. So we open a little bit wider, the feet, hands to the hips. So thumbs to the back, and we are going to do circles. One side, keeping the side, the head more or less in the center. One side to the front, so push the front, push the other side, and push backwards. And we continue to circle, big circles. Good. The other side. Okay. Now cross your fingers, your hands, uh, fingers to the front. So as if it's one piece and raise to the chest. Turn hands and then push hands to the ceiling and look the hands going up. And then look forward and pull your arms back. Okay, and now we extend to one side as much as you can. And feel the stretch. And come back in the center. Relax the arms down. Relax the shoulders. And again, up, turn, push up, look at your fingers, your hands, look forward, pull your, push your hands, your arms back, and go to the other side. And stretch as much as you can. And come back. Now turn the hands down. We'll go to the left foot. You go as low as you can without bending the, the, the knees. As low as you can. If you can touch your feet, excellent. Now, when you are low in this position, if you get dizzy easily when you when you go up, you keep your eyes up. Okay, you bend your neck and you look up. If you get dizzy, if you are not dizzy um, easily, you relax your necks completely, all the top part of your body, with your legs straight. Okay, and then we inhale and go to the other foot and exhale down and stay a little bit there and feel the stretch on the back of the legs. Okay, now to the center, inhale to the center, to the floor, exhale as low as you can. Relax the neck, relax the upper body, tailbone up. 
Okay, now we bend the knees, we sit, open the hands, look up, and then raise with your back round. Okay, now hands to the back, to the kidneys. The kidneys here, and we are going to push forward. Okay, so push forward, keep the legs straight, uh, and look diagonal. Don't bend your neck to the on the back, it's not good. Just keep it straight and look diagonal. The important is pushing forward. And come back. Okay, you can massage a little bit. We need to take care of our kidneys. Okay, now we do the knees. So feet together. Feet together means uh, feet touch each other. Okay, so we're going to put our hands above the knees, not on the rotula, because it's not good to push on the rotula. Okay, just above. So you can, you can stay there. And we are going to sit as low as possible and stay a little bit there to, to work on the work here, to stretch. Mm -hmm. Okay, then up, and now we push this direction to extend the legs, and then down. So one, two, down, one, two, up, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Again, last time. One, two. One, two. And from here, we are going to open the knees, doing circles. Bend the knees, open, and sit. Uh, knees are together. And then raise, legs straight. And again, open, sit, close, and raise. Open. It. Raise. Last time. Okay. Now the other the other side. Go down. Sit. Open and raise. Sit. Open and raise. Keeping your heels on the floor on the floor at, at all times. Two. One. Two. Voilà. Can massage it a bit, the, warm the knees, it's always good. And we raise. And we can raise. Now I'm going to show you the, the first important position. It's a mabu. To mabu is this position. Okay. You have both feet straight to the camera, and the knees go to the direction of the camera. Okay. Not in. It's no good. So same direction okay and the back the back is is straight vertical back is vertical not like this coccyx not too in it's better more in than more out okay so the idea is get the tailbone the coccyx down so you can sink imagine you sink into the floor okay so and uh, and he and then for the for the back, you imagine uh, you have a point here that you imagine that you pull it, so you extend your your spine. So every little piece of the spine I extend it while we do tai chi. We don't sink the the back. Okay, we are straight, but sink here. Okay, as if we are pulling down. Something is pulling down and something is pulling up. So stretched all the time. And uh, the point here is an acupuncture point, very important, called Pai Hui. Okay, it's just at the, it's not at the center of the head, it's slightly on the back, at the height of the back of the ears. Okay, you do a line here. So, because we keep your, our chin slightly in, it comes to the top. Okay, so when it's on the top, that's when you imagine that someone is pulling, as if you're in Pinocchio. <laughs> Someone is pulling, pulling the crown up. Okay, that's the uh, basics of uh, Tai Chi to remember. So now to get to this Mabu, 
to get the right uh, stand, we will open toes as much as you can, and open heels as much as you can, toes again, and then adjust the heels to be facing the camera, and you sit. This is the perfect Mabu position. It's two shoulders with the weight of these shoulders, okay, two, more or less. Now, if you have a weak knees, you can go a little bit closer, okay, and you stand a little bit higher. If your knees are a bit weak, okay, or if you don't use to it. But if you use to it, you can, you can go down. Okay, so this is Mabu. Then another position is Kumbu. The second important position. Uh, you have one feet go straight to the to the to the wall, and the back foot is 45 degrees. Okay, and there is the 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 width of the hip in between both. I show you with uh, my spear, my very useful spear, not in Tai Chi, but <laughs> for helping <laughs> to explain things. I used to do it kung fu, in kung fu. <laughs> so. Kumbu position. This is Kumbu position. Okay, so what I showed you just now. Kumbu position. So you have the back foot is open 45 degrees, and then the front foot, it's it's like this. So with the the width of your hips. Okay, if it's too much, it's not good. You will lose your your balance, and if it's too close, it's the same. You lose your balance too. Okay, so it's about hips. This is cool. And then here, the knee is uh, about the to the point to the toes to your toes. Okay, not lower. If you go further to your toes, then it's not good for your knees for for health reasons. Okay, so only if you do just one move like this, it doesn't matter. But if you stay long time on that position, that's not good for your knees. Okay. And the back leg is straight. Okay. And when we do, when we say straight in Tai Chi, it's never 100% straight. It's straight, but it's extended. But the, the joints are never um, locked. Okay. So straight, but relax the elbow, not bend, just straight, relax, straight, relax. Okay. It's a very small difference. For the legs, it's the same. So here, when I say straight, it's a Tai Chi straight. So it's straight, but the knees slightly relaxed. Okay? So for everything in Tai Chi, so it's a Tai Chi straight. <laughs> okay. So let's show you the first move of the eight form. So the eight form is the shortest one in Tai Chi, I, uh, in Yang Tai Chi, but I think in, in all the Tai Chi style that, that I know at all. I know Chen, I know Sun, and I know Yang. So from these three, at least, <laughs> that I know very well, there is no shorter form. OK, uh, so it starts with uh, the beginning. It's called Chi Ishi, so opening stance. So let's do it together. We just, uh, so you're going to the same time. So feet together that touch each other. OK, body straight. The pelvis slightly in, remember that. So, so the tailbone goes down, not, uh, not, the, not going out, never, okay? Always inside slightly, okay? Chin in, and then the, the, the tongue touch the, the palate. Why? Because you have uh, acupuncture points in all the front of the body, and if your tongue doesn't touch the palate, the, um, the chi doesn't flow on, on the front of, from to the, all the, the run meridian, all the front of your face, doesn't, doesn't flow. Okay, so even teeth together is not good enough. So, tongue to the palate. Okay, so now relax the shoulders, fingers down, fingers touch the body. Okay, and we bend the knees slowly, a little bit. Then we raise the, uh, I'll do mirror view. We go this direction, you open left, I go, I go right, but it's left, your left. Okay, mirror view. Raise. Open, shoulder width, or slightly more. Heel, slowly heel on the floor, and then raise. Okay. Okay, the important in this opening is that you go very slow and a very smooth way. I show you from the back. 
So I open my left like you. So bend the knees. We raise the heel very slowly as if you are detaching something from the floor. Okay. Uh, sometimes I say if you have a shrink gum on the floor, <laughs> that's thickened behind, behind uh, on the, uh, under your foot. Okay, you sit, you raise your heel slowly, open, just the point, the toes, and then slowly you massage all your foot and then you raise. Why we do that? Because uh, just to go with the flow first. And then because, of course, you, you have all acupuncture points uh, of the body um, that, that are reflected in the, below the feet as well. Okay, so let's do once more. Feet together. Relax. So imagine that something is pulling your crown. Chin in. And then relax, knees open. And then raise extend the legs okay now again we are we are straight but the the knees are relaxed not stiff just relax then turn the hands back of the hands to the front to the camera and raise 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 the back the back 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 of the hands turn uh, when you are and go closer so we are here so we turn okay turn like this okay so slowly, all, all together, turn and put like a mini tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes below the arms. So we open and put tomatoes. You see, you have a little space now between. Now no space, and now there's a little space. You see, just just a little bit, not too much. So this is the pung energy. We open and then the back of the hands to the front. Straight, arms straight, and you go up. Yes, okay, good. I'll show you from the side so you have different views. So fingers down. So you turn your hand. While you turn your hands, at the same time you raise and you let your body go with your arms. Go with the arms. Up. You raise. Hands horizontal. Okay, excellent. Now fingers point to the front. They are just relaxed but not bent. Okay. Okay, again. Open, raise, slowly, as if you are in the water. And then here we are going to sit down. We go back on our heels, sit down and push down as if you are putting your hands on the table. But this table is diagonal, it's not flat, slightly diagonal. Okay, like uh, the small old uh, children tables. <laughs> okay. Why do we do that? Because um, this is uh, martial art. There is uh, an application. So imagine some someone is taking you like this here. So you have your arms in the center. So what you do, you go up. Then you open. You, you put your hands on, on their arms. And then you push down. And with your body, you have the power to push him down. Okay? And that's why the fingers are up. Because the arm is... It's like this, it's not flat. The arm is not flat. His shoulder is not here, his shoulder is there. Okay, that's why the fingers are slightly up, as if you are taking an arm. Except that in Tai Chi, we don't turn the hands, we just leave it natural. Okay? As if you are in the water. So feel that you go raise and then down, as in the water. Extend your arms. Arms are extended, not bent. Yeah. Now for regime, your your elbows are to bend like this. Extend. Yes, extend. Yeah, on the side. Put on the side if you are. Yeah. Or, or sit down. It's okay from here. It's uh, it's really um, yeah. You raise. Arms are straight when you go up. Straight. And then from here when you sit down. Your elbows first bend. Elbows bend to the down, not to the side. Elbows bend down, not, not to the side, but a little bit. And then slowly, and then the, the wrists. The wrists. And then you are to your position. Okay. So let's do it again. Feet together. 
Okay, let's go. Bend the knees, open. Center the body. And raise the back of your arms to the front. Yes. And sit down. Relax the elbows, relax the wrists. And sit. Good, very good. It's very smooth. Excellent. Good. Now I'll show you the next move, but I will, show, I will explain you into details, okay? If you, if you want, you can try, but I will explain you after. So we open slightly the arms. We prepare a ball. Left hand below, right hand up. Like if you have a big, big chi ball or big beach ball, in fact. Yeah. So the hand is just slightly lower than the shoulders. And here to the belly button. Then you turn. Heel out. Waist on the front, split the arms, push the heel back, and extend. So this is the first, the second move. Okay, it looks simple, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. So I'll show you in second time, so you know where we are going. Okay, so wait on your right hand side. Make the ball, beach ball. Step in. Turn. Open. Heel out and split. Push the heel back. Okay, good. So now I show you. I'll separate the, that move into different pieces. We'll do the top part. Okay, the hold the ball. So for the hold the ball, we will turn our waist in this direction. Turn uh, this direction. We'll put the your left arm, left hand below. Just on the front of the of the belly button the 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 tan tien, that's just three fingers below the belly button about this area okay on the front and open and then the other one is up okay as if you have a big big beach ball okay beach ball yes okay top hand just below the shoulder just uh, maximum the shoulder yes in the center excellent and the other one belly button and then you you detach it from the from the uh, from the body why because you imagine a ball and ball this is a square ball <laughs> this is a real ball so you have space for the, the 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 beach ball yes okay excellent excellent okay so we are going to speak a lot about the beach ball in uh, <laughs> in tai chi okay so let's relax okay now we put this the beach ball Prepared. and then we turn on our right hand side okay and then the hand that goes below the other one you forget go to the camera so turn your waist and you raise to the camera yes okay excellent now again so it's open and raise turn the waist okay good and the other one, what it does it does? It just go down. Okay, just go down. But when it goes down, because we turn the waist, so the arm automatically, when it goes down, it turns at the same time. Okay, it's not just it doesn't stay there; otherwise, it hurts. So it just turn and go down. And the hand goes 45 degrees. 45 degrees. So it's not on the side, it's not on the front, it's a bit between both. Okay? So, we are here, on the side. So the lower one goes to the camera, the other one pushed down. And then we look straight to the camera. Okay, hand is flat. Hand is flat. The other one look up. Okay, now I'll show you into details. With my mouse, mouse, <laughs> computer mouse. Okay, the hand that below we do only one hand. You can do it together. So the left hand is below, and and if, as if you are carrying something. Okay. So now I'm going to always distance. We turn the waist and go to the camera at the same time. As if you are throwing something to me, to to the screen. Go to the screen. Okay, you should have uh, the hand just below your mouth. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Um, the, and when it arrives here, there is a special point. The hand is... Um, so when we are here on the side, it goes like this, okay? You see the other direction. Hand is diagonal, slightly in diagonal. Slightly in diagonal. It's not straight like this. It's not 90 degrees. It's diagonal. Okay, as if you are reading something. And the direction... Where's my pen? So um, imagine your hand, this, and then turn, okay, it's flat, like this, and just go above the head, okay? If you turn your hand too vertical, it's like it's on your nose, okay? That's not good. And too open, it goes to the, to the ceiling. It's not good. The best direction is above your head, okay? Diagonal, above your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, and arm extended without locking the elbow. Okay, let's try again with these more details. So hold the ball on the side. Hold the ball. So just below the shoulders and belly button. Ah, yes, another thing, another little thing. Uh, your hand that's up, it's the same height of the other one. You see my mouse? falls into the other hand okay it's just same line it's not one too far one too close okay okay yes okay just below the shoulders if shoulder shoulder yes okay okay imagine a big 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 ball you have a circle here and a, a circle here and you have a circle yeah you have a circle here it's all circles everywhere, and imagine one here. They're everywhere. Okay, so let's go on the side. Then we turn direction to the camera. We push down with this one, and the other one goes to the camera. Voila. Mm -hmm. Again. Okay, uh, Sandra. When you go, you go, you go, you you go too far. You go past your head, go to, to your head, yeah, then you go too far, that's too far, come back to the camera more, yeah, to me, in, in my direction, in my direction, yeah, 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 stop, stop, not too far, yes, yes, you, when you look at me, you, so, you should leave, yes, yeah. <laughs> the hand, as if you are, offer me something, to me, not to, not to the window, <laughs> to me, <laughs> Yes, yes, okay, just on the front, excellent, that's it. It's the direction is on the front. Direction is on the front, yes, voila, that's good, good, okay. Let's do it again, ball, each ball, and turn, voila, and extend. As if you are doing like, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very smooth, okay, it's smooth. Show you from the side, we are here. Turn the waist, raise to the shoulder level. Shoulder level. Okay. Okay. Now we go to the other side. Let's do let's do both sides now. Okay. Ready? Turn the waist to the camera. Turn. The same. We do the same. The same one. On your right hand side. Okay. Turn the waist and to the camera. Then now we go to the other side, turn, 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 and, and the top hand turns down, and the lower hand turns up. And here you have another ball. And you turn to the camera again, with, from, from here. And one goes to the camera, and one goes down. One push down. Okay. Turn again, hold the ball. Okay, turn the waist and raise. Just do very slowly, slowly, slowly. And turn again, hold the ball. Then the right hand is down. 
The right hand goes to the camera. The left hand goes down. Okay, turn right. Turn. Hold the ball. If you think about hold the ball, it's easier. You have one ball here, one ball there. You have two balls. <laughs> two beach balls, very big ones. Okay, so again, and raise. Turn, and then raise. Okay, good. We are going to do the, the feet now. We have already the position. So I'm going to uh, take the, the spear again. So it's the, the feet of this move, it's in fact the Tai Chi walk. It's called the Tai Chi walk. So we imagine a line. And then you open your feet like this, 45 degrees, okay, 45 degrees. And then we bend the knees, put the weight on your right hand side, I still do mirror view, on your right hand side, lift your left foot and heel to the front, quite far, okay. And you need to have your hips uh, sep uh, separation as, as I showed you before, okay. Then now the, the weight goes on the front. Put your feet on the floor, bend your knees, and you have your weight on the front. And this is the kumbu position that I showed you before. See? Kumbu position. Okay? So let's do it again. I'll go closer. Okay? So feet, feet open, 45 degrees. Okay, bend the knees, weight on your right, rate your left foot, heel out, and then put your foot on the floor on the floor and weight on the front. Good, very good. The knee in direction of the foot. Then now, weight on the back. We go back and we lift the foot. And now we turn to the side, to, to your left. Turn. And then we put the foot on the floor at 45 degrees. Okay? And then lift the back foot and come back next to the other one. Okay? Well, let's try again. So open, 45 degrees, both, it's easier. Bend the knees. Weight on your right. Heel out. Weight on the front. And weight on the back. Open the foot, 45 degrees. And wait on the front. And come back. And we'll do the next one. Open the hip. Heel out. And now the foot will go to the camera straight. A bit, low, bit further. Go straight and wait on the front. And wait on the back. And then we open 45 degrees. And wait on the front. And step in. Okay. I'll show you one from the back view. Okay. So we all go in this same direction. Okay. So I go very close to the camera. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, okay. Bend the knees. Wait on the right as we did before. Step out. And then wait on the front. And extend the back leg. Then wait on the back. Lift the foot. Turn 45 degrees to the left. That's my left and your left. And wait on the front. And step in. Okay. Open the hip. Heel to the other side of the, of the line. And wait on the front. This is kumbu position. And then wait on the back. Lift the foot, open 45 degrees, wait on the front, and step in. Okay? Relax a little bit. Okay, we are going to try that with, with the top part, okay? So, remember, it's your first class. So, for the ones that is the first class, 
uh, don't worry, it's not easy. Tai Chi is not easy. It looks easy, but it's not easy. So it takes time. It takes uh, repeat. It needs repetition. Okay, practice, practice a lot. Okay, so um, so from when we are here, okay, after the first move, what we do? We open, open the arms, and we hold the ball. The right hand goes up, left go below, and stepping. Good. To the chest level. Yes. Turn your waist to your left. Step out. And then wait, bend the knees, bend both knees. Weight on the front. Split your hands as we did before. Okay. And then you see a, a bit block here. So what we do, we push our heel down. We lift the toes, stay where they are. We push the heel down, back. Voilà. And now we are square. We we go, we put our hips square. Okay, and we are here. Okay, let's uh, let's do it again from the first move, from the first move, and then we'll do two or three together. Bend the knees, open shoulder width, and raise. Raise. That's number two. As if you are floating in the water and push the beach ball down in the water. Okay. Now wait on your right hand side. Open hands, open arms, and prepare the ball. Right hand is above. Left hand is below. And turn your waist to the left. Open. And then split, bend both knees. Wait on the front. Split and push the heel back. Okay, let's continue. Let's try that. It's challenging. Let's do it. Wait on the back. Now we don't move your hands, your arms. Turn 15 degrees to your left. Do 45 degrees. Then wait on your front on the front. Step in. And here we hold the ball. Turn the top hand goes down and the lower hand goes up. We hold another ball. Then step out, right foot out, weight on the front, split, and square. Again, weight on the back, lift the toes, turn 45 degrees, weight on the front, step in. And now we have the, the ball here, to the front of the camera. Okay, and relax. Okay, let's try, let's try last time, uh, last time, feet together, okay, bend the knees, open shoulder width, and then raise, and turn the hands and float up, and float down and sit, And open arms, wait on your right hand side and prepare your ball. Right hand is above, left hand is below. And turn our waist, open, step out. And then here, bend your knees, bend your knees and split at the same time. And push your heel back. Wait on the back. Turn 45 degrees, wait on the front, step in and prepare a ball, another beach ball. Step out and split. I'll show you one from the back just before we finish, so you have another view. Uh, from the back, mm. okay, sit, open. But now it's now it's perfect. Okay, then I raise and sit. Okay, now we put our weight on our right hand side. Left hand goes up to the chest. Right hand goes to the belly button. Okay, open left, step out, and split the hands and push and push the heel back. 
Okay, that's the first one. Then weight on the back and turn 45 degrees left, like me, this direction. Weight on the front. Step in and hold the ball. Here we hold the ball. Okay, and step out. Split, weight on the front. Extend. Once more, weight on the back. Open 45 degrees to your right hand side, like me. Weight on the front. Hold the ball. Okay. Okay. Voila. So this is your first lens. I think we, are, we have done a lot today. <laughs> Normally we take a bit more time to learn these two moves, especially the second one that's a bit uh, complicated, but I want to give, to give us test, uh, a taste of the, of the Tai Chi. So the ones I want to continue in January um, will be more prepared to do these moves. Okay. So we'll just, um, um, just shake. First shake to relax. Then we'll do a little bit of tapping with the fingers. Fingers a little bit, um, and not straight, a little bit curved. And then we, on the arm, on the hand, and then up, up, up. On the back, open hand and down. Then again, turn up, change, open, back, and again. And to the collarbone, here we are waking up, waking up the meridians, and the center meridian, the only lateral meridian. Kidneys, and on the back of the legs, going down, 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 then up to the front of your legs, your side on the hips, then down, down, and go up from inside. Yeah, voila, voila, voila. <laughs> That's it for today. So let's say the salute. Uh, it's, uh, the salute is the same, the, the words are slightly different, so I'll say Tong Shimon Tai Tian, so goodbye. And you say Lao Shi Tai Tian, okay? So Tong Shimon Tai Tian, and you say Lao Shi Tai Tian. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, I turn off the recording and see if you have some some questions. Just one moment.